Clarity is chaired by Deputies uh, Shane Ross and Stephen Dudley. Quick nominate, then, didn't it? Thank you, Ken Carlo, with the permission of the House. <coughs> I'd like, first of all, just to say that I think this debate marks the departure and possibly the last speeches and contributions of two of the most eloquent members of this House that I can remember. And I deeply regret the fact that Deputy Joe Higgins, whose contribution to the bank inquiry was unmatched, uh, and whose contribution to the workings of this House over the years have been elegant, many of which, of course, many of us have disagreed with, but have been utterly honourable and well thought out. And his dedication to his constituents and his own ideals was one which was uncompromising and utterly admirable in the history of this House and very unusual. I'd also like to say that uh, I think that the speech that made, made by Deputy Rabbits, which, he, which was also his farewell speech, was consistent with his long history of, uh, as Deputy Tobin said, raising debate here onto a higher plane. And indeed, some of his successors might take that into account. I think he has done the state a great deal of service, and his final contribution was also a great credit to him. I think it would be right that I, I, I wish to say that. <coughs> I disagree with almost everything Deputy Rabbit said, of course, in his, in his speech, but that doesn't in any way deter from what I said before. When he said that the House that cannot hold a proper inquiry, as this one was not, was a diminished house. He's right. It is a diminished house. Doyle Aaron is a diminished house. But he ought to ask, why is it a diminished house? The people decided that the members of this house, in their wisdom, were not fit to carry out an inquiry of the sort that maybe they would have wished. And that is an honourable, and it's a decision, it's a decision which we should respect. And it's a reflection, first of all, all upon who is sovereign, and secondly, in the low esteem into which this House has sunk as a result of its failure to reform. And I think we should take cognizance of that, and not just say go back to the people and have another, another referendum. And as a result of that, Deputy Lynch's inquiry and I share the tributes to their hard work, not to their findings, was totally and utterly hamstrung in what it could produce. And the result of this, and I said it yesterday and I'll say it again, was that the happiest people in Ireland yesterday and today are those who were actually being asked the hard questions or were meant to be asked hard questions. When I look at this report, and I look at the reaction, and I look at the leaks, I realise that this report, far from putting those who had asked the questions in the dark or on the defensive, is a get-out-of-jail card for the bankers themselves. They're the people rejoicing, because this report could not find any fault with them. They could come in and answer the questions, but they get a clean bit of health, in effect, because no finding of fact can be found against them. And the same is true of the developers, the auditors, the consultants, and indeed individually the regulators. That is the effect of this, and in effect what is done is half rehabilitate those people who are meant to be on the defensive. They are walking free, obviously innocent people, but also uncriticised, because this report could not do so. What sort of report is that? And we do have a full guy. We discovered a full guy, all right, and he is rightly indicted in this report, and that's Mr. Jean-Claude Trichet. Of course, what he did was utterly unacceptable. But he's the guy who's in lights because the others could not be touched. That makes the report a fiasco. That makes the report a waste of time. That makes the report very difficult for many of us to accept. And the other reason why it was flawed from the start, because as politics showed here just now, 
It deteriorated into a political spat here between Fianna Fáil and Labour a few minutes ago. It was all about politics. Thank you, Deputy. This report was set up, I've got six seconds. This report <laughs> was set up to crucify Fianna Fáil. It didn't do so. It couldn't do so. And it backfired on those who did it. But it was about politics. And I do not believe that we, as members of this House, have earned the public's trust to make findings of the sort, of the sort that it sh should be required of us.